how good does this win feel? Amazing. It's been five games. Yeah, so it feels uh, it feels amazing. I feel like I did the right thing this week to get prepared for this team. And I'll come out with a dub is big. What was Doug's message to the team at halftime? Keep fighting. We, uh, we've been on the other side of it and then lost, you know what I mean? So we had we, had, we lost no faith. Uh, we actually had more faith understanding that, um, you know, it's not over. When you almost had that pick in the game, you, you were looking at the end zone. <laughs> Listen, God trying to teach me a lesson right now. So I'm just, I'm, I'm, working, I'm working through it. Um, unfortunately, dropped that one. Yeah, it happens. Um, but when you kind of get this, when you come back from 17 points, this one's got to feel pretty sweet to be able to complete that comeback, get the win, and get back on the right side of everything. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, that's what the NFL is about. It's week to week. And then even the games, like first half and second half, is almost like two different games. So you got to be able to adjust and uh, just keep fighting. And so I know uh, myself, I just told myself, keep fighting today, keep swinging uh, through adversity. We had some plays we let up early and um, be able to keep fighting to finish. What do you think about the, how the secondary handled the, the, the changes y'all kind of had today? Trey and Montarg rotating, mm -hmm. Tyson switching sides throughout the game. These are some things that y'all really haven't done much this season. Mm -hmm. how, how was the communication, how the secondary handle doing that? I think we did well. Um, it's, it's, it's definitely a, a, a new... <laughs> Like I said, something that we haven't done much. But, um, you know, the way we work during the week is kind of like, you know, whoever's there, you know, just fill, fill it up. And we don't got to think too much about who it is, you know what I mean? Just you know, do the job, do it to the best of your ability. Um, so I think it went, went well. How did you think the rookie did when he got his shot out there on the field? I think I think he did well. Um, it, it, there's a there's a adjustment period for him. Respect, I mean, this is his first, like, live, live snaps. Yeah. And so, you know, he might have some nerves. And I told him, you know, just you know, play fast, play fast. Make the, make the fast mistake. Because um, I'm still working through stuff like that. So I'm just telling him. I'm speaking from experience, and uh, you know he'll, he'll be good. How important was it for you guys to come out here and, and sort of get over the hump, you know, make the final play at the end of the game to win the game? It's huge, and um, you know you really can't overthink those moments. I think sometimes guys trying to get riled up, and really you just got to stay calm and you know, understand like it's just like practice when you do a two minute in practice. Um, just keep the ball in front of you. So uh, that's what we did. And, could you tell coming into the week that this is different or just it feels the same then you just go out and kind of execute? Oh, uh, I feel different how? Just in terms of preparation, mm -hmm. focus, things of that nature. Uh, I, I mean, it's just about staying focused. I mean, it's such a long year. You know, you come off five, five, five straight losses. Um, you got to do everything to stay in it. I mean, this league, especially in November, December, you know, guys are all over the place, injured, mentally. So you, you got to make sure you're staying in it. I think we did a great job of that, focusing in this week. Was there anything you guys did? to stop Devontae in the second half because the first half obviously had that 148 yards, second half he had zero yards. What did you guys sort of do differently against him? Uh, I think we, I think the calls ended up changing a little bit. Um, I can't pinpoint exactly what it was. I think he, we, we got away from some of the stuff we were doing in the first half. Uh, in the first half we wasn't, um, I know I personally, I had, I had to keep an eye on him as being a middle field player. I could have done a better job of that. So. Do you like not having the bye week this week as opposed to like last year where y'all had the bye week right after London? That's kind of a new thing in the NFL this year mm -hmm. where teams are playing mm -hmm. right after rather than having that bye week after the long trip. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's tough that those first few days after. But, you know, once you get through it, yeah, I mean, I feel like your bye week always comes at the perfect time. So uh, we got one uh, following this week, right? Uh, yeah, you got one yeah. more and then bye week. Right, right. I think so. the teams this year that played right after London are like 5-1. and one. Oh, wow. As opposed to before where you take the break right mm -hmm. after. So it's just something different that they're trying. It looked like teams right. that made I, it work. I think last year the Dolphins played um, right after. I, I know my friend was on the team, and I was like, damn, I'm playing after London. <laughs> so, um, but, I mean, we was able to do it. Like I said, take a few days and, you know, recover.